you hear the same comment from every school. These kids don't have books to take home. These kids don't have books that they can read for fun. I can show you how to throw this football, punt it, catch it, whatever, but this is gonna be a skill I promise you, you can use. Why is education not considered cool? Not just reading, why is being smart negative? Everybody having a good day today? Yes! The reason I'm here today is because education is so important to me. How old are you guys? Six. Six. The benefit of helping a kid be excited about education is that this kid's future is forever changed. I started a nonprofit in 2011 with my mom. It's called Reading Equates to Success. Reading and education is the cornerstone of my family. I'm very blessed to have two parents that both graduated from college. We really sat down one day and thought, you know, Mom, I'm all about giving back. You know, how do I do it? My favorite Dr. Seuss book. She was talking to me about education. and She felt that maybe more people could promote it. What is it, green eggs and ham? <gasps> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. But I think when they saw him in here and they were like, oh my gosh, like, he's normal? I probably spend most of my time reading fiction books. He reads and he can tell us what genre is, so I think that's really something that is powerful. I never knew that an athlete or a football player can be that interested in reading. I usually just see him play, so I never knew that. And it just inspired me just to work harder. Thank you. Every time you finish a book, it's an accomplishment. When you get to that last page, you've achieved something, you've grown. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. I want to impress upon you guys and I always want to tell young people is don't be scared to fail. I want to encourage you all to, to try anything that excites you. You're going to have more experiences and in the end of the day, you can only fail when you're done trying. So as long as you're willing to stick to it, it'll work. You just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and maybe the object you were trying to push down doesn't fall but your arms, legs, back are so strong. When you find something else, you take off. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. When a child learns to read, their education, their experiences, and their imagination become limitless. Reading equates to success. I like to call it a grassroots nonprofit. We're gonna go talk to people. We're gonna go hang out at schools all day. And I'm gonna bring it to them as personal as I can. We've partnered with entire schools to raise books. I've done a reading nooks where you can come drop off old books, new books. I've donated books personally to libraries. It's my way of helping out the most people I can in the limited amount of time I have to do it. Seeing successful people like Julius come to my school makes me feel happy. And he went to college, and he inspired me. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. They would never have this opportunity to meet an NFL player. And getting to know them, I think, outside of the sports realm and making those connections I think will help them to continue to learn and enjoy it. I don't know if I'm gonna reach every kid, but if I could reach a couple every single time, how great of a feeling would that be to be laying 90 years old in a bed somewhere thinking, my, my time's coming to an end, but I've helped so many people. That's, that's really what's gonna matter at the end of the day. That's lasting. <laughs>